boy Matt Retro 25, and today I'm gonna bring you my review of the Air Jordan 5 University Blue. To get started in this video, I won these shoes off, let's see, Nike sneakers. I actually won these on sneakers, I guess. I mean, it was a first come, first serve, so it wasn't a raffle. But yeah, I did win these off the sneakers app. To me, this was a must cop. Jordan 5 is my second favorite silhouette. So getting these shoes to me, it was it was a no-brainer. It's UNT Blue. I'm from North Carolina. I had to. Had to. Chapel Hill is my favorite, you know, team that I root for every year. They're not having a great year this year. Um, so, you know, take my wins where I can get them. So to start this video off, man, I just want to show off the box. Um, this is going to be a quick video, I guess. Uh, just wanted to, you know, show off the shoes and everything. Today, give you guys a quick review. And that's it. So let's get into the shoes. So start things off. This is the top of the box. You know, you got that blue jump man on top. You know, each year they come out with a different color box for like the UNC, whatever UNC they drop. Last year was the sixes. The year before that was the fours. And the year before that was the threes. So, no, nah, the ones were in there somewhere. The ones might have been last year. Yeah, the ones were last year. And then uh, it was the ones and the sixes last year. And then the year before that, it was the fours. And then the year before that, it was the it was the threes. So each year they come with like a different box. So this is the box of the UNC five. This is that, you know, the tag. The tag reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE DV 131401. The color, hold on, camera's having a problem focusing. It's University Blue, Black, White. And then of course it reads that size 10 and it has that UR code. Or that QR code, I mean. Getting into the inside of the box, you know, it comes with, you know, just some traditional, you know, sneaker paper, nothing too fancy. I guess it is uh, like a cement paper, I guess. It has all these little different patterns on it. And then when you get into the shoe, you know, it's that all, you know, blue, university blue upper, you know, Jumpman on the bottom, Jordan on the bottom. And this is the thing that like a lot of people don't like, but it don't bother me. I think it's actually a dope thing because, you know, it's a Carolina vibe type shoe or a college P type shoe is this this tag they put on the back of the shoe. Um, getting over to, you know, the medial side of the shoe. You also have, you know, just your regular Jordan 5 with the netting and the side panel. Then on the top, you have the laces and you had that blue sneaker or lace holder you got your black jump man and yeah it's got small little details on the shoe what I like about the shoe is the inside of the sock liner you can see the inside of the sock liner and on the right shoe it says heart, which I think is is super dope, super dope. It says heart on the inside of the shoe with that quilted sock liner. That's on the right shoe. And on the left shoe, it says soul. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So, yeah, and then I would say the leather or the suede quality, it's pretty good. It's definitely not the best they've done, but it's definitely not the worst either. It's pretty soft to the touch, you know. Also, you you got on the shark teeth, you got the uh, the silver speckling with the blue dots or the blue, yeah, the, the blue paint paint splatter. Like I said before, that icy blue, you know, sole. So all in all, man, this is a dope shoe. And like I said, this is a super cop for me. I had to have these in the collection. The Jordan 5, like I said, is one of my favorite silhouettes. And just throwing University Blue on it, it was a wrap. Now, I do have the Trophy Room 5s. And to compare this shoe to the Trophy Room 5s, it's, it's a different type of leather. It's a different type of leather. Um, this leather is the short leather. Kind of like we saw on like the Raging Bulls a couple years ago. I would say that would be like the closest thing you can match to it. And same with those green apple fives that came out. But I can already tell. I don't know if I'm going to wait to wear these out. Or I might. these might be the next shoe I wear out. But man, I love this shoe. It's one of the best pickups for this month. 
And if you guys got your hands on them, I would definitely hold on to them. Uh, for me, this is a personal pair and I'm rocking these. But I know eventually value will go up. Just give it a couple years and the value will go up. It's going to be one of those long sits. You don't want to, it's going to be something you sit on for a while. You're not going to have a lot of value in it right now. But I would definitely say that these are definitely one of the best sneakers of the year. Definitely one of my favorite. One I could not go without. I had to get these in the collection. So shout out to, you know, anyone that, you know, got these shoes or, you know, like my video. But please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think I went over the whole shoe. If I missed anything, I apologize. But man, this is just such a fire shoe. Like, so happy I got it in the collection. But thank you guys for watching my video today. I pray y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to try to be posting more content on my channel. I think I'm actually going to upload another video today. But I just really want to get these UNC 5s out. I've had them for a while. So, uh, yeah, just had to put the video out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.